terms of AI and elimination of jobs, um, we do believe that there will be some impact as we're transitioning to the new, uh, to the new set of, of rules, let's say, of business. Um, but we don't really think that the actual elimination would be more than 10%. What we expect will happen is that the, the skills requirements as technology evolves faster and faster will keep changing faster and faster, which means it will, it will be quite difficult for an organization to maintain these skills organically by continuously retraining people. The retraining aspect will always be there and it will be very important that organizations focus on training their employees. The best companies will realize that their, you know, their continued success lies into tapping into the right skills at the right time uh, and in a reliable way. Uh, this means that it will be very important for them to understand that it, they have to proactively engage with all talent pools. So let's use an example. Today, companies do use freelancers, but most of the time they engage with them when there is a project. In the future, we feel that the best companies will engage with the freelance uh, ecosystem even when they don't have active work with them because they will want them to feel engaged, they will want them to feel part of the organization. And when the project comes out and we're going to be competing against other companies for the top talent, we would like the best freelancers to come and work for us. So the best companies will understand that it's all about proactively managing the talent pools and not focusing on the internal workforce and then just um, uh, you know, on a project basis engage with us.